Please help me in giving him a huge round of applause, Jerry Roberts. Can you guys hear me all right in the back? Just double checking, making sure. Um, as it was mentioned, I get to travel all around the world and speak to a wide array of different people, from executives to small business owners to people just like you who are looking to grow their business or make a difference or just make some great connections in the community. Um, and the number one thing I've learned is, I would, they, they've asked me to cram this into 40 minutes, what I normally do in like a two or three day seminar. <laughs> so wish me luck on that. But what I'd love to share with you tonight is a very simple strategy that will just help you get bigger and better results. And whether the results are in your business, your health, your finances, your relationships, whatever it is that you're looking to improve on the post, if you just apply this simple strategy, you'll be able to speed up the process. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Just checking. Um, the way to get the most out of this simple workshop here is just to really participate. I realize I have a giant fountain in front of me, which is beautiful. You're an incredibly beautiful hotel with tons of people you want to network with. Um, but if you'd be willing to give me just 30 or 40 minutes of your time, I'll promise you that I'll deliver you something that if you walk out of this room and apply, will massively increase not only the results you get in your life, but more so the fulfillment you have along with those results. I believe there's two things you've got to master in life, and I learned this from a great mentor of mine. Number one is, you know, the science of achieving things. How do you go out and get a result that you really want in life? How do you say, hey, I'd love to achieve that goal, I'd love to graduate, I'd love to make the money, I'd love to do my business, and then make it happen. And the second piece is, more importantly, the art of fulfillment. How do you make sure that no matter how much you do or don't achieve, you land up at the end of your life completely fulfilled? Because how many people in this room, by raise of hands, have ever gone out and achieved something? A goal you worked hard for, you know, a degree, some financial resources you were after, a relationship. You got to the end of it. You got the result you were dreaming of, thinking that if I could just get there, everything would finally be the way I want. Then you got the results. You stared at it and said, that's it? How many people have ever done this? Raise your hand and say hi. Lots of people. Um, real quick, just as far as the participation piece, all I'd ask you to do, if you would raise your right hand like this and take a small alt with me, it's a simple one. And all I said is, I'm willing to play full out tonight. So are you guys ready? One, two, three. You guys look really, really serious and kind of scared when you said that. So here's what I ask you to say. I'm also willing to have a whole lot of fun. Yes. Ready? One, two, three. I'm also willing to have a whole lot of fun. Yes. Then turn to your neighbor and say, I'm committed to having fun. Are you? Yes. We need some more drinks for us. Okay, we're headed in the right direction. It's a good one. Um, so in saying all that, the, the very first piece is when you're looking at what's the difference, you're looking at how, why those people enjoy things, um, the, the first distinction on making getting started is the difference between pleasure and fulfillment. Most people in their lives chase which one? What would you say? Most people want to chase fulfillment and land up chasing pleasure. The biggest distinction between the two, fulfillment lasts, pleasure doesn't. If you chase pleasure, you'll feel good in the moment. You might feel good for one or two days, maybe even a week. But two, three, four weeks down the road, all of a sudden, fulfillment is not there. You need your next fix. You need your next big deal to close. You need your next relationship. You need your next hot date. You need the next you know, person to meet. You need the next experience to have. Just to get that rush again and feel like, wow, I'm making it happen. Fulfillment, you can do once, and it'll stick with you for years, if not a lifetime. So my first question would be, what's your current pattern? Are you currently chasing fulfillment in your life or you're currently going after pleasure? Just a thought to consider, because the very first piece we're looking for is if you want to know what's the difference that helps people achieve something rapidly in their life, it's patterns. If you look at your day-to-day -day patterns, what you do and don't do determine exactly where you go. What you focus on and what you choose not to focus on determines how you feel. How you physically take care of your body is going to determine how much energy you have. They're very simple patterns. None of this is rocket science, but when applied in the right way, you get much different results. The fastest patterns I can help you recognize, just to show you how quick we can pick up a pattern, and then we'll dig into some deep patterns just to give you something that you can shift with right here. But if you would, without knocking any glasses over, um, hold your hands out in front of you about six inches apart.
I'm from San Diego, and men in Chicago have a very different interpretation of six inches. I'm just saying. I've seen everything between this out there and a few of these. So six inches, guys. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say, ready, go. On ready, I want you to bring your hands apart without knocking anything over. And on go, I want you to bring them together and interlock your fingers like this. Everyone got it? Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Point proved. How many people picked up a new pattern? How many times did it take? Three times. Twice to learn it, third time you were already caught up with it. You can put your hands down. Thank you for participating. But here's the key with this. It's not Simon Says, it's not let me see if I can trick a crowd of people into clapping three times. What it is, is if I'm a perfectly good stranger that we just met, for the majority of people in this room, I know a few of you, but most of you I just met. If in three times you picked up a pattern of mine physically, how fast do you think you pick up patterns of people you spend every single day with? Let me give you some interesting patterns. What about people's belief patterns? People are supposed to be, life is supposed to be, business is, money is. I'm supposed to make this amount of income. I'm supposed to have these kind of results. You're supposed to get married at this age. You're supposed to have babies at this age. How fast do you think you pick up patterns like that of people you spend every single day with? Action patterns. You know, here's the action I take every single day towards the results I really want and desire in my life. Or lack of action patterns. How many people know someone that knows what they should be doing in their life, but for some reason or story, they just can't get themselves to do it all the time? Anyone know someone like that? Anyone brave enough to say, I am that person? <laughs> A few honest people in here. Thank you. Um, but in saying that, the biggest piece you got to recognize is what are the patterns you're living consistently? The most predominant pattern that will make the biggest difference in where you're going, your belief patterns. And if I were to break this down in the simplest way possible, I spent four years learning about psychology, and trust me, some of these textbooks are really interesting to read and incredibly boring to describe to people. So I'm going to save you the, the, the lecture, if that's okay with everyone. Um, the simplest way to define these two types of patterns as far as beliefs, there's only two. There's limiting patterns, which would do what? What would you say? A limiting pattern is something that says, I can't do it. But would a limiting pattern move you forward or pull you back? Hold you back. Would it help you achieve better and faster and quicker results? Or would it, no matter what, it always seem to slow you down and stop you from having what you want? Slow you down and stop you, right? Can you guys hear me okay? Just check it. So a limiting pattern would totally slow you down, and an empowering pattern would then do what? Move you forward. Help you accelerate the result. It's very simple. So my question is this. If you look around in your life, what patterns do you spend more time in? In that little CD you put in your head and you hear every, how many people have a voice in your head that you just can't shut up even when you really want to? Or let me say it this way, especially when you really want to. That little voice just sneaks up and starts saying all kinds of random stuff. Anyone got one of those? Everyone's got one of them at least. Um, here's the question. Does that voice constantly tell you stuff that's empowering? Like, wow, you know, I'm going to make this happen. Oh, man, that's possible. I'm so excited about this. Congratulations. You're doing so great. Or does someone have one of those, how many people have a voice like that in your head? No matter how bad it seems, it's always telling you great things. Okay? How many people have that other voice? That no matter how good it gets, it's always that, like, let's see if this lasts <laughs> kind of voice. You're like, I'm doing so good. I just won the jackpot. And they're like, like, that'll last. And you're like, oh. How many people got one of those that sneaks up on you all the time? How many people are not going to raise your hand no matter what I ask you tonight? <laughs> the rest of you, thank you for being honest. Um, so what's interesting is to identify this voice, the fastest way that I know how to do that for you all is to ask you a couple questions. And you don't have to share these with anybody. You don't even have to write them down because we don't have pens and paper. Normally we would in the workshop I would conduct. So in saying this, here's the thing. Take count real quick. Zero being, I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. Ten being, I'm exactly where I've always wanted to be in this area of my life. And let's start off simple. In your health, your energy, not so much your physical body, because how many people know someone that isn't the, in, isn't the shape society says we're supposed to be in? They're not the shape, but energy-wise, they have more energy than just about any other human being you know.